or two to think about it. Can you sort of put your finger on uh, um, sort of what happened in that series with you guys in Manchester? Uh, I think it just just comes down to execution. Um, they obviously executed their game a little bit better than we did. Uh, we thought we competed competed well in most of the games for for uh, most of the time we we played, but um, they executed their game plan a little bit better. I wonder how do you sort of um, uh, how do you look at this the playoff run individually? Because you obviously had a lot of success, scored a lot of goals. Team didn't get quite as far as I wanted to. Yeah, um, it was a pretty good playoffs for myself personally. Um, obviously, we want to win and we want to keep playing, and we wanted to keep playing right now. But um, from a personal standpoint, I felt pretty good about my game. Um, I said this before, but I just kind of had a hot stick, and, and things go your way a little bit. So. How about the year as a whole? What did you learn this year? First full pro season. Uh, it's a long season. It's uh, one thing you learn. You, you really got to take care of your body. Um, coming from a season that's only 35 games in college to now 76 plus playoffs, um, you really have to take care of your body away from the rink and at the rink. And make sure you're ready for every game. How do you sort of approach free agency? Because you're in a in a unusual position in the sense that you played on an AHL deal, had a great year. Are you excited about it? Yeah, it's an exciting time for me. Um, it's just a, something that's going to happen in the next couple of weeks or a couple of months, and uh, it's kind of just got to wait it out and see see what my options are. But um, obviously, love playing here and, and love being here. When you talk about getting an NHL deal, the only thing that I, I, I could ever see, I would imagine any NHL team would want to have you. They're just concerned about are you big enough to play in the NHL. How do you sort of answer that question? I have got that credit uh, my entire career, pretty much, but. Um, I guess pe people have done it before me. There's there's players that are doing it now. Um, hopefully they can see through that and see that I, I compete hard and I, I have the skills. So um, I mean, hopefully hopefully my size doesn't hurt me too much. After spending a full season here now, have you learned anything from watching the other guys go up and come down from the NHL about how they adjust or how they prepare for that experience? Yeah, uh, I mean, obviously a, a few of our rookies this year, uh, rookie forwards, got to got to go up and play a few games and. Um, just see how excited they were. Um, they were ready to play, and they played well while they were up there. And, um, I think just learning from them, and not not being too high, not being too low when you get sent up or sent down, and, uh, sticking to your game is going to give you the best chance. What do you think gives you the best chance as far as getting the, the contract that you want this upcoming uh, for next season? The fact that you had a good playoffs, or the fact that you're able to have a good regular season and keep that consistency through the playoffs? Uh, I think it's a little bit, a little bit of both. Uh, obviously, you got to play well during the regular season to, to have a chance to, to play in the playoffs, and then uh, to perform in the playoffs is a big, big step, I think. Um, but I think just overall, as my, as they've seen me play a ton of times now, and they know what my game is, and they know what I'm going to bring. So um, I think it's just an overall, overall thing.